get to this. One, two, show the three, four and a five. With and this. Six, we come down seven and eight. A lot of hard work and practice. The incredibly talented dancers who make up the Pacific Northwest Ballet spend more than 120 hours each and every year practicing Nutcracker. It just was kind of the seed of a dream. Jessica Onspach has been dancing with PNB since age five and has been a core dancer since 2005. She's danced more than 10 different parts in the Nutcracker and often dances three different parts each performance. I actually adore Nutcracker. It is, it is one of my favorite shows. Um, I think partially because I grew up here. The Stowell Sundak Nutcracker was the first ballet that I ever danced in. So um, it's just lots of really fond memories. People are there for the very first time. People are enchanted for the very first time. PNB Artistic Director Peter Bull knows Nutcracker. He started dancing it as a young boy in New York with the New York City Ballet. He came to PNB in 2004 and was excited to be part of the dance company that's doing Nutcracker like no other. It is unique. Um, it's, there's no other Nutcracker like it in the country um, because of Kent Stoll's choreography and also Maurice Sendak's set and costume designs. Um, people have really grown up with this Nutcracker. It's a holiday tradition. People are coming back that came as children and now they're bringing their children. So it really has a nice presence in the, in the lives of the Northwest. Something else that makes PNB's Nutcracker so unique is Sendak's magical touch to the costumes and set. The author of Where the Wild Things Are brought the classic story of Nutcracker to life with some hidden treasures. And Kent's always pointing out to me, and he's also pointing out to members of the cast, to look very closely at the sets to see where a mouse motif is hidden in the party scene, to see where you might find a peacock that Sendak painted into the sets. And then suddenly there's, it makes sense that when a dream happens um, that it includes a peacock and that there's a mouse in the scary part. So there are little hints that Sendak and Stoll put in throughout the production. Something else you might not know about PNB's Nutcracker is right under the dancer's feet. This is the original Nutcracker floor designed in 1982 by Sendak. The painted grid on the floor is key for the dancers, especially the younger ones. It's brought in every year for the more than 200 dancers to practice on. Before it's moved into McCall Hall for the 35 to 40 performances that are presented every year. It's fun to do, you know, to get in the, in the Christmas spirit. It's such a Seattle tradition to come see the Nutcracker. Um, this is such a nice production. Here's something else you might not know about PNB's Nutcracker. Many of the costumes the dancers wear are the original ones from when the show was first performed back in 1983. And there are a lot of costumes. There are 93 adult parts, but the, some of the dancers have nine parts in Nutcracker that they do on different shows. Um, 84 children's roles. Yeah, 84 children's roles. But again, that's two or three kids for each role. Thompson started in 1980 with PNB as a parent volunteer and is one of the many PNB veterans. There are also a lot of veteran crew members who work with the set, which helps to make the technical director's job a whole lot easier. It almost runs itself from the technical aspect. That uh, is due in part uh, that it's been done over and over and over again, but mostly due to the fact that it's been done by the same people over and over and over and over again. But it's not just the PNB veterans who have a special place in their hearts for the Nutcracker. Even new cast members are already under its spell. It just happens, <laughs> especially for snow and flowers. You kind of hear the music and it just happens to your body and you're like, okay, just smile and let's do it. <laughs> 
and it's a spell that extends to the audience too and keeps them coming back for more year after year. Watch CityStream Thursday nights at 7 on the Seattle Channel or get video on demand and podcasts anytime at seattlechannel.org.